In November 2016, Nintendo released the NES Classic Edition. I was excited, put it on my Christmas list, but it was out of stock everywhere. You couldn't get your hands on it. Months later now, it's still out of stock everywhere. So I turned to the RetroPie, running on a Raspberry Pi computer chip, or computer actually. It runs on a little disc, looks like this. The Raspberry Pi Zero. You put it into a small little container, hook up to your USB, your HDMI, put a controller in, and you are ready to go. Once it's installed, you play your games just like you normally would. So for example, NES Classic has Punch-Out! We can play Punch-Out! on the RetroPie. We can play Ninja Gaiden on the RetroPie. We can even play Contra on the RetroPie, which the NES Classic can't, nor can the NES Classic play Super Mario Bros. 2. But with this all assembled, it looks kind of, well, messy. So a solution. Let's come up with a housing to put this in. So if we look at a normal Nintendo cartridge, it looks great. So we went to the store, picked up a couple. You can play them for nostalgia, sure. RBI, or Major League Baseball, eh, it's okay. Double dribble, meh. So take this apart, put it inside a Pi Zero, connect up all your cables, print off some parts, and we're ready to go. So that's what this video is about. How do we assemble this NES Classic, basically, in a Nintendo cartridge? So let's start off with our cartridge. We're going to use this Major League Baseball game. You're going to need all these parts. You need the game, controller, yes, you see that SNES controller, we're going to get there in a moment, a Pi Zero, a mini HDMI connector, USB hub with built-in charging, 3D printed parts, some screws, some cutting tools, and we'll go ahead and get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to remove the security screws. You need a special tool to do this. To access the original Nintendo control unit, remove that, and we need to get cutting. You want to cut that little guard there at the bottom and also all those little nubs that are around there, but leave that center of screw hole. You may also need to use a cutter and some pliers to help remove some of these pieces. It doesn't have to be pretty. Once they're removed, we're ready for the next step, which means we have to get 3D printing. So here we go, printing our top bezel. This will hold everything in place. Looks like this, it's great. Then we want to print our bottom. Altogether, this takes about two hours to print all these components. And there's not much trimming or anything you have to do. They come out pretty clean. And once we have our 3D printed parts, we can take them and we can put them into our cartridge that we just cleaned out and cut around the extra pieces like this. Then we can screw in our Raspberry Pi Zero once that's in place, we can add the mini HDMI. It fits in just like this. The USB cables are a little more tricky, so you might have to maneuver things to get them to fit, but they do fit. Put the top back on, screw everything together, and we are ready to go. All we have to do now is take our game cartridge, plug in our controller, hook it up to HDMI, plug in some power, and we're ready to play some Nintendo games. That's right, Nintendo games. So we upload this onto our RetroPry system and we can put in any number of games we want. Once we have them in place, we can start playing. So Zelda, ah, classic, right? We can also get onto ice hockey, play some sporting games, lots of fun with multiplayer. So you might want to get two controllers. Or we can play things like Ninja Gaiden, Punch-Out, here we are exercising and basking in New York City skyline. But we can also play Super Nintendo games. That's right, Super Nintendo games. So you need a Super NES controller to do this. Once again, we install our games on the RetroPie, easily accessible. And then we can start playing our games like Mario All-Stars, get access to the original games and also new ones. We can play Ninja Turtles, fun times. I remember that game. And who couldn't forget Street Fighter 2 Turbo? Yes, Turbo, and it works flawlessly on this Pi system. So there you have it. RetroPie in a Nintendo cartridge. Lots of fun. Beats the NES Classic hands down. Cheaper price. Great deal. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.